World Athletics Marathon update. Gordon will be there. 6 a.m. outside of Autzen Stadium. Gordon will be sending tweets, live updates, time projections, pretty much every mile. So be sure to tune in. For the women's race, Team USA has a change. Molly Seidel has withdrawn, and she'll be replaced by Kira D'Amato. Uh, she released a statement through her agent to dealing with ongoing hip pain and found out that she had a stress reaction in her sacrum. So she will not be racing. Also, she has an ongoing TUE process where she needed, needs to take medication um, for ADHD, which has not, that hasn't been fully fleshed out yet as well too. So two issues going on here, but the motto will be on the start line. US is deep in this event on the women's side. Like you, you lose Seidel, which obviously she's a great runner, a clutch runner, comes through in, in the big moments. But D'Amato, I mean, we've seen how good she can be as well, too. So D'Amato will join um, a strong squad for the U.S. trying to get, trying to get a medal. Can we also kind of reflect or react or whatever – the motto being on Team USA is, is wild when you really think about it. She was just like a non-relevant like runner who then during COVID, out of nowhere, runs like a 15.05K, then starts getting better, starts moving up into the marathon, and starts running – solid marathons and then all of a sudden she's running elite level marathons and then all of a sudden she is now on team usa she was fourth in the running for team usa and now she got bumped up because of the scratch but kira damato's story is freaking incredible going from just you know uh, out of the sport not out of the sport athlete to now not just being back in the sport but being at it at the highest level we're representing yeah usa it's it's nuts like People would kill for D'Amato's past three years, and she did it like super late in her career. How old is she now? She's like 36, 37? I don't even know how old. She's over 35. Keep at. Yeah. So it's just wild what she's been able to do, and it's pretty cool for D'Amato to be able to have this Team USA moment. Obviously, hopefully Molly gets better, and Molly still has a long career ahead of her. You know, She's coming off of freaking getting uh, a medal at the Olympics, so she's yeah. going to be fine. But – for Kira D'Amato, who's in the late stages of her career, her early late career, you can say it that way. Um, it's pretty cool for her to have this moment. So I'm really excited for D'Amato to make her first U.S. team after not being in running for like 10 plus years. Yeah. 37 years old, Kira D'Amato. And we've seen the U.S. win medals in these type of championship races before. So... And then now you have people, you have, you have a whole team there of people that wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise you if they got a medal, right? Like if Sarah Hall medals, that's just, that's not crazy. Oftentimes they send a team and you think, okay, one person out of this group has a shot. On the US side, they've all shown flashes of it and could pull it off on the day. So I'm excited to see it in person. I know you're excited. 6 a.m., getting out there mile by mile marathon coverage courtesy of Gordon Mack. If you're running a race at 6 a.m., what time do you have to wake up? I think it actually starts at 6.30, but I want you there at 6 just to make sure yeah. you're ready and have the Twitter login and stuff like that for your mile by mile, mile splits. Uh, I think they'll get up at uh, 4, 4.30. It's we could ask, maybe after the race, we get the first question in the press conference to the gold medal winner and we say, Yes, this is this is Gordon Mack from uh, Flow Track. Question to the uh, gold medalist: What time did you wake up this morning? Thank you. What did you eat for breakfast? What food? <laughs> How hydrated are you? Would you say yeah. we have this producer Colt who says the key to life is proper hydration? Agree, disagree? I'll hang up and listen. Make it happen. I'll ask that question. Yeah, I, it'll be an interesting think, question actually to ask because I think you should do it. You know. This is, you just say, this is really early. I've never been up this early before. Okay. Well, you have to also wake up earlier than normal up? because waking up early is a thing. Like, that's fine. But, like, 
Waking up early to then put your body through one of the hardest two hours of your life, you know, it's another level of waking up. So you wake up even earlier than normal, you know, what do you, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I, they're marathon runners though. They run a lot of races early. So I think they'll be fine. Uh, it could be hot though. It was getting warm towards the end of USA's. I haven't looked at the extended 10 day forecast and Eugene will get a weather report. I think tomorrow from Colt, our weather reporter extraordinaire, but that could be a factor. It's three, three big loops. I think it's interesting too. They're going to run through, they're not on priest trail, but there's a, there's a paved road through the middle of priest trail for a good portion of the course. I just think it's interesting because I wonder how many fans or if anybody's going to be out there because it is like a path in the middle of a large park. I'll do you go out there. Yeah. You. Yeah, I'll be out there. Yeah, stop. Gordon on the ground God. for mile 12. Let's kick it over to Gordon for a mile 12 report. All right. Next yeah. segment. 